But women, you don't get creepy. You get hornier as you get older. It's weird. You want to do all your sex in between the ages of 30 and 50. That's when you want it. But here's how f- sad things are. The value of vagina is only good from 18 to 29. <laughs> Pussy get old like bread, not like wine. It... Here's how you learn how to make your man uh, like you and desire what you want, which is love. All right, equate how you feel about your vagina to how we feel about our time and our space. You understand? What we have to do to get pussy, the things we have to do. Now, I can't fuck you against your will. You got a desire to want to fuck me. If I fuck you against your will, that's rape. Now, if I'm on the phone, I say, look, I got to go. And you say, well, I got to go. I want to talk to you some more. You are raping my time. You are taking something from me. No means no, bitch. I said I don't got to go. White guys are so afraid to be a racist. I'm telling you. You see a few black guys walking towards you in an area you don't belong in? Run. <laughs> But you can't run. See black guys coming out. I don't want to assume that these young men are going to beat me in my face. I don't want anybody accusing me of racism. I... So they got to wait to get beat up first before they can even think about running. My advice, run, get home, feel guilty, but be alive. Alive and guilty is a good thing. Because if I see five bald white dudes walking towards me, I ain't going to wonder if they got cancer. I'm going to go... I'm going to go, those look like skinheads. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Like, ladies, let's discuss... Hey, look. Let's discuss harassment for a second. Let's just... You feel it a little bit? Like, let's just discuss it. Why can't I harass you (laughs) sometimes, sometimes I can never harass you, never. And I'm not talking about like I'm talking just. the job. It's unfair that I can't harass you at the workplace. Like, (laughs) you looking how you looking, and I can't just a little something that has to do, like, you got to be careful just to say, hey, you look beautiful today. That's how messed up the game is. I think you should be able to comment on any part of the body that you see, if you, I'm serious. What's your name? What's your name? Jeannie. Now, Jeannie, no disrespect, but if I work with you, I should be able to walk in and go, oh, Jeannie, beautiful uh, titty meat you have there. And, because I see that, but. Found out about my girl. She been with me for five years. I only been with her for eight months. I didn't, I'm looking at her like, bitch, you didn't realize you was a hoe for four years and four months? Women love a little better. Y'all love better than us. You ever get sick and shit? You got something, you should go to the hospital, but niggas don't go to the hospital. So you just like, oh shit, I'm getting ready to die. I don't know what the fuck's going on. You call me, oh, hey. And then your girl come in and she look at you like, motherfucker, you ain't gonna die. I'm gonna save you. Oh my God, I'm gonna get you soup. I'm gonna kiss your back. I don't give a fuck if I catch what you got. And she gets you through that sickness. Then she gets sick and you be like, God damn. <laughs> Bitch, you can't make soup, you that sick? You ever try to watch the Special Olympics? 
and, and try not to be uncomfortable because it's the, it's the right thing to do. <laughs> and you're sitting there trying to watch and just... <laughs> and you're not an asshole, but the 10 meter stumble, it, it's, it's impossible to watch. You try to, you do, because you're a good person. <laughs> On your marks, it said go. <laughs> God, they fell. <laughs> and he didn't fall, but what's this guy doing? One day he didn't fall, but he didn't run because the starter's pistol scared him to death, so he's just standing there at the... <laughs> 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 he was so special as a knockout artist, we hated to see him when he got on the rape beef that I never believed, especially based on the last interview we had with uh, Greta Van Suskin. And he goes... She goes, what do you have to say to your victims, Mike? He goes, well, I wish I hadn't really raped the bitch. <laughs> and her mama. I wish I hadn't really raped the bitch and her mama. And I'm like, oh, that is an innocent man. That's the, I'm telling you, only an innocent man could be that angry and say some shit that fucked up. Like, I, I, I wish I had a rape decided to been in jail for something instead of raping a bitch and I really didn't. So that's Mike's way of like figuring it all out. And her testimony years ago, which cut me off, even without the interview, but interview solidified it. Her testimony, he forced oral sex on me. And I said, damn, he made you suck his dick? That's terrible. He ate a pussy. That's when it was like, case, case dismissed. Because what rapist tries to make you feel wonderful? I, I've been eating pussy a long time. And I never eat it rapey. How the fuck do you do? Shut up, bitch, shut up! Shut up, I need your pussy. Shut up, boy! Why I peel away the outer lips and slide the hood back to expose your clitoris for maximum stimulation. Shut the fuck up! You can't even make a mean face while you eat pussy. You can't, you be like, shut up! If you give a lie detector test to a man and a woman and ask them the same questions, man, we would pass them both up to a point where it's like, hey, ask a woman, you love your man, you love your family, you love your home, you love what you built? Yep. All right. You see Brad Pitt or Denzel Washington or whatever standing there, would you risk everything you built with your man just to sleep with him? And women, look, they go, nah, I wouldn't. And they'll they pass the test. They be like, eh, you know, I, I, it's, they look good, but I wouldn't. Ask guys the same thing, you know, boom. Love your woman, the kids, the house, yeah. All right, you, you see that girl passed out behind the dumpster? <laughs> Would you risk everything for a passed out woman behind a dumpster? I don't want to, but look at her with garbage on. She looks so cute with garbage on. Now I'm watching a, a talk show. They had the thousand pound man on, right? Uh, he was a thousand pounds. That was it. Now I'm 300 pounds. So that means this dude was three of me and uh, another dude with pneumonia. And he was, he was just laying there. That's what he was doing. That was his job, just to be on the show and just... <laughs> <laughs> with his big uh, 9X uh, t-shirt he had on and, and he was just <laughs> and, and people were in the audience crying you know what I mean they were just you know, oh, oh my god Exactly, he ate. He ate <laughs> till he couldn't move no more. You don't catch a thousand pounds. What? Nobody stick you with a dirty needle and give you a thousand pounds, you, you eat. 
Motherfucker, that, that's a half a ton. That's a, now I did my research. A half a ton is a baby uh, killer whale or a full grown sea lion is a thousand pounds. You know what, we kill horses for less. For a hurt ankle, we'll shoot a horse. But we let this dude grow <laughs> till he's just useless. Drugs are fun. Drugs are fun until you take too much. Drugs are fun. Until you need them too much Find me in Brazil eating veal Why my shit turns real Choose your final meal Should have took my deal Mama la steel Grab your skin and peel Tell me how that feels, how that feels Drugs are fun